Good to see everybody. Appreciate you coming out. Um, a lot of great things this weekend. One of the things that happened today was uh, community relations had, had some service events around town uh, for, for, for kids and for young women that were great. I know because my wife is a part of it, and uh, I was just talking to her about it. So had tons of volunteers from the Ravens, uh, players, uh, significant others, uh, moms, family members. Uh, so just neat to see that in the community and uh, really proud of that. Also proud of the whip victory yesterday, obviously. That was another thing to be proud of. So uh, happy with the way we played. Go back and study the tape. A lot of great things, so many great things uh, that, that led to a victory in a, in a hostile environment against a division rival, a very good football team, uh, but also uh, uh, things that we can work on. So many things that we can get better at and work on that we'll uh, go to work on this week to try to get pointed toward next week, which will be a bigger challenge. Because as you go along in the season, everybody gets better. So you've got to keep getting better just to stay the same, and then you've got to outpace your opponents in terms of improvement. So that's what we'll be working on doing this week. Uh, what questions you have? John, I think you touched on after the game a little bit about the offensive line. Why, why do you think they were so effective uh, uh, up front? And uh, what led to, for a little while, Morgan Moses being that uh, left guard? Well, if you, I think it was, to what? Uh, Morgan Moses, I think, was that left guard, wasn't he, at, for a brief period, too? Well, we had different formations, unbalanced formations that, uh, that we were in. So uh, it was one of our formations. You know, the guys were in different spots. So you, you saw Daniel Falele got out there for a little bit. So those are all good things. Daniel was a tight end at one point, uh, did a real nice job. So uh, yeah, that's just part of it formationally. And why do you think, that, you know, because a lot of people are thinking, okay, two, two stars not going to be a part of the offensive line. Why do you think that group was, was, was so effective yesterday? I think the guys played well, you know, and we, we you know, I, they, people were concerned about stuff and I understand it, and, but we kind of maintained all along that those guys would come in and play well, and they did. So Sam Mustafer deserves you know, a lot of credit, ton of credit, played so well. And uh, just really just kept it going, you know, and, and at a high level. Uh, obviously, uh, Pat, you know, he's done that so many times before, so nobody should be surprised by that. Uh, so that, that's what those guys did. And then Morgan really had a good game. I think he really uh, had one of his best games. You know, he really had some big blocks for us. Uh, Kevin Zeitler was his usual, uh, you know, excellent playing self. So uh, uh, just, just really, John Simpson had a, had a great game, a great weekend. Uh, I don't know if he made the announcement yet, but he had a, a, a real positive family thing. Did he make his announcement yet? <laughs> okay, I, didn't, I don't want to speak for him or his family, you know. It's out. It's out. Okay, good. So he had a baby. He and his, his wife had a baby, their first, their son, seven pounds, nine ounces. And uh, he, uh, he, it was just really wonderful. So uh, his, his son got a game ball on the plane after the game. So he... Patrick McCary, was there talk this summer about him getting involved in that left guard job of competition, or do you tell him, or do you talk to him and say, we love you because of your ability to play everywhere, but that could also mean you don't play anywhere if everybody else is healthy, and how, how did that come about with him this summer? I know you've talked to him about him before in these kind of events, this kind of feeling. What would you say about him this time around? Yeah, I mean, yeah, and Bo, you know the you know the history of it, so it's a very good question. That's exactly it's you know it's kind of the conversation we've had with Pat in terms of his versatility. Probably greatest blessing, and probably for him, somewhat of a curse, you know. But uh, but it, it it ends up being the right thing because he goes in there and does so well. And and the idea being that he could have uh, he could have played been the starting left guard for sure, and that was kind of the the, the plan if 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 nobody uh, stepped up. But, uh, you know, John stepped up in a big way. So that, that was good for us because now it allows us to have Pat. You know, he backs up really both tackle spots. Uh, of course, Daniel does, is, is the next backup. And then uh, he can also be your center if you need, you need him to do that. And didn't get as many reps in training camp at center. So, uh, you know, that was something that he would, you know, we were working on that now and just in case. You're always working on all the just in cases. Uh, but uh, Sam gave us a backup center. So that just really helped us in this game a lot, that whole scenario. John, when you look at the commitment you guys made to the wide receiver room this all season, was yesterday kind of the vision you had, not just with the balance production across the board, but even sustaining an injury to one of your starters and still being able to put somebody else in there that can actually you know, do a lot during the course of the game? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think that's kind of the first, the opening salvo, so to speak, you know, you hope. And that's, that's where we want to keep building in terms of 
uh, just the depth of those guys. I mean, to see Nelson come in and make those plays. You talk about clutch plays in the game, clutch first downs and conversions. Boy, he made, he made them touchdown. Uh, all those guys just played so well. You know, uh, Rashad Bateman didn't have a ton of catches, but he played well, ran routes, moved around different spots, uh, to your point. Um, after, you know, we, we went down, you know, our guy. And, uh, uh, and then, you know, uh, of course, um, uh, Duve came in and, and did really well, had some good runs, and almost made a great catch in that third down play. So, yeah, I think that's a big part of who we are is that, that wide receiver depth. John, did you get an explanation on the punt, the penalty being picked up? And from watching it on tape, I mean, did you feel like that should the penalty should have stood there? No, uh, that, we got an explanation was that uh, the, the, it, was a, it was a low block, which is illegal by them, but he got pushed into it by one of our guys. And it was on tape, a good, it was the right thing. They, they, they correctly ruled that. So that was on us all the way. Uh, we made numerous mistakes on that. It was really poor coverage, you know, on our part. So we, uh, it's about us, and, and we, were, we were to blame, you know. So we've got to do better with that. John, can you talk about, you know, often we've seen Lamar come to you on fourth down situations, wanting to keep the offense on the field. Uh, we saw when Mark Andrews did so in this game that you, you know, removed the offense and put the special teams in and, and kicked the field. But can you talk about where you have to make those decisions and what leads you to uh, your decision? Yeah, I mean, uh, I didn't see Mark. I don't know what, what you know what we're talking about there. Uh, I was down at the end uh, by the the twenty five yard line. So, but I'm sure you know the guys, the offensive guys, always want to go for it. You know, they should. I mean, they have confidence. They they want to go make those plays. You know, and that's what I love about our guys. And my job is to uh, make the decision. You know, in terms of what's best for the team at the time, what's the best chance. And I always go by what's our best chance to you know whether to get it or to get the points. You know, it boils down to what's our best chance to get the most points. And sometimes you take a chance. You know, we kick the field goal from 59 yards. Who does that? You know, very few teams do that. And it, it's a chance. You take a shot, and it's a risk because you, you you give them an opportunity to get the ball midfield, which is what ended up happening. Our defense stepped up, thankfully. And so you factor in your defense. I mean, I have confidence in our defense to get the stop. Also have confidence in Tuck to be probably 50-50 plus on that in my mind at 59 yards you know I'm thinking he's gonna he's gonna have a shot to make that a real good shot to make it and those points were going to be a premium so we went for it that was an aggressive move and it didn't work out uh, but our defense you know had our back so uh, that's kind of all those decisions to me that the points there were important I mean it was fourth and three and we we, we wanted those points you know at that point in time and you and you, and you know Tuck have a great chance to make that kick so uh, that's what we did. John, I know you were optimistic yesterday, but any, anything further on OA or back home this first time? Today? Yeah, we've got a lot more information. I'm just going to keep that close to the vest, though, you know, right now. Um, if there's any, if, I can tell you this, if there's any long-term issue, you know, uh, we'll let you know what it is. If it's going to be something where it's going to be anything like any kind of an IR thing or anything like that. But uh, we're not there yet with anybody. Uh, and when we get there, we'll let you know. With no way being out, how pleased were you with how Clowney and Ajabo held up and probably helped that you didn't have a ton of defensive plays? Sure. Uh, yeah, those guys really played well. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, J.D. Clowney, man, wow, he played great. He was, he, was, he was disruptive. He was a wrecking ball in there. And then uh, uh, Ajabo, too. Ajabo played a really solid, sound, physical game, you know. Ran to the ball, was really good setting the edge. He had good uh, help get pressure, you know, good bull rushes and was around the quarterback. So he's he's just kind of getting better every week, and Adafi was playing good, but he had he had a uh, you know he had the ankle sprain, so uh, that was kind of tough. But uh, that's where we're at. So you um, talked about this a little bit last night, but uh, just the efficiency of Lamar, which is the way he operated, things seem to flow uh, much smoother, out of the huddle faster, more plays, etc. Uh, how much of a point of emphasis was that? practice one of the things you guys did you to go from week one to, to that yesterday yeah. sure brian i mean the, yeah the operation we call it you know it's, i guess that's an appropriate term but it goes from the press box through the sideline to lamar through the whole offense and back again to lamar you know there's a, there's there's a lot of moving parts with that and it's really about communication you know and, do, and doing it efficiently and uh we work on that really hard from day one of OTAs because that's everything is based on that and we were kind of disappointed in how it went the first week 
but it was the first week. And so it was, yeah, to your point, it was a big point of emphasis this last week, and it was much improved. And on the road with all the crowd noise and silent, we had silent count too. So I was really just happy and proud of those guys. I know Todd was real happy with those guys. And yet, like Todd said this morning, we still can get a lot better at that. You know, that's something that we'll keep working on to try to improve because you have to be. I'd really, everything is based on that. I saw that Lamar played his most snaps from under center, I think, of, of his career in a single game. Can you just talk about the advancements that he's made in, uh, under center? Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, uh, it, we haven't done it a lot, you know, but he's always been good at it. He's never been a problem uh, with him under center. I think it's something he does really well. And it was going into the season, we've talked about that before, it was, it was part of the plan to be under there more. And, uh, and, you know, you see it happening now. So as long as it's successful, I'm, I'm sure we'll keep doing it. And uh, I think it creates a lot of problems. I mean, people have to defend us that way and all the formations and all, all the play actions that come off of that, the run game. They have to defend us in the pistol, like always. And now the gun stuff is, has become a bigger part of what we're doing than ever, too. So those are really all, make us more diverse. Can you talk about the secondary, uh, more specifically your cornerbacks? They had a tough assignment this week, and, and they came away really successfully. They really did. As really, you got to be proud of those guys. I think every Ravens fan should be really happy with the way the corners played. I mean, you're going against arguably the most talented receiver group in the league, uh, with you know a great quarterback. So a proven quarterback, the highest paid quarterback in the league. You know, he's he's been doing it the last couple of years, and I know he's got the calf and all that, but. But uh, you know he's still throwing that ball and playing really well, and he's going to have. They're going to. They're not going anywhere. I promise you that. So we just. Uh, uh, we but we didn't. You know we didn't back off. We didn't. We played our game. We 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 were pressed. We played press man. We played zone. Press zone. We played cloud zone. We 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 bailed. We we were played off at times. We played zero. Uh, we played everything we play. You know, and those guys played exceptionally well. And, and really, I don't think they had any long passes. You know, over 15 or so yards completed. You know, air yards, and that's a, that's really incredible. So we'll take that all the time. You know, from those guys. And this week's a new challenge, and uh, we'll keep getting healthy back there and, and keep building on that. But I think we're really building some depth in there. To that point, the, the rallying and tackling is so important against Bengals because the run after catch ability. Just what are you seeing from your team's in, team in terms of the tackling? Yeah, we're tackling really well. I mean, they, they stress you big time with their RPO game. So, you know, they, they had some long drives out there where we basically didn't get off the field. That's, that's something we really have to work on because they were in third and five or less pretty much the whole game. Ten out of, they were 10 out of 15 on third down. That's, that's an area that we have to improve. And really it's because they were in third and manageable because they did so well on first down. You know, they, when, when, the, when the box was lighter, they were handing it off and they were bleeding out, you know, four or five yards. And when, when it, we got a little more stacked, they threw the screen out there and they execute the screen so well, so fast. Uh, they get upfield so quick with those guys. It's one thing, like you say, they're great at. And, uh, you know, we, we're, we're really good at defending it, but they bled us for some yards there, and they got themselves in third manageable, and then they were able to, to convert. Uh, so that's something that we've got to continue to work on. John, not to go back to the injuries, but I know Marcus Williams, you were saying that he would have to make a decision as soon. Is that a process you guys are still trying to figure out right now? Right. Marcus is not getting the surgery. Uh, so he's just rehabbing right now uh, to get himself back on the field. Is there any kind of ball? I mean, if I, there's a sort of a, a, a vague time frame right now, so I, I, but I just don't want to put it out there and then everybody be mad at me later. But John is not putting him on IR or sign. He's not going to go on IR. Right. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Definitely time to express that, yeah. Anything else? Did you uh, get a chance to celebrate the Orioles playoff for any, any time to kind of celebrate that as well? I, 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 well, yeah, it was all one big celebration. You know, it was all great. Um, but I, mean, I love the Orioles. You know, I love those guys. I love, I, love, I, love the, I love Coach Hyde, you know, the manager. He's, uh, I think he's a great leader. And uh, I just love the way that team plays. I, just, I, 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 see, I see a lot of us and them and them and us, man. They, they're gritty. They're gritty and they're tough and they fight. And... Uh, yeah, love them. Congrats to the Orioles. That's that's just the beginning, you know. They're, they'll they'll be ready. They'll be ready to roll. I'm sure. John, does um the situation with their quarterback? How I guess he started the week in protocol. Does that complicate preparations for this team, or do you get enough of seeing the other guy and what they ran with the other guy to kind of get a good idea of the differences of the kind of the two attacks? With yeah, the problem is going to be the reps. You know, they're they 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 both do a lot of the same things in the, in the system. 
and uh, Coach Steichen brought the system from uh, Philly, and uh, you know we kind of understand that system. You know we've had a lot of that system in our in our system as well over the years, but uh, different quarterbacks for sure. You know, and uh, uh, Richardson has been has been has been man, he's been tough to defend last couple of weeks. You know, the Minshew, you know, you know how he is. I mean, he can get hot, and uh, he's he's a very dynamic player. So, but they're just a little bit different in what plays they run specifically. So. We'll just have to get a feel for that as the week goes on, and really we'll have to prepare for both. Uh, I apologize if you asked this, but I think this is the fastest Lamar's gotten rid of the ball just as a drop back passer. I know some of that is attributable to the, the, the quick game the screens that you've thrown, but does it does it kind of match the eye test with what you're seeing with him, just being able to you know hit the top of his drop and get get rid of it? Yeah, I mean he's doing a really good job of seeing the field, and uh, is pretty much uh, reflective of the offense. I think you know that's what he's being asked to do now. And he's, uh, you know, he's doing it really well. So uh, there's times when he holds it more, we're pushing the ball downfield and all that. And other times, more often, you know, the ball's coming out on time and in rhythm, and he's doing a great job with it. And I know he's just going to keep building on that. Thanks, all right, man. great. Thanks. Thanks. Okay.